All right, guys, so today we're going to tell you a little bit about the 3020T. So the first thing that a lot of people is going to notice about this that you're really going to enjoy is instead of a 16 uh, inch swath, 16 and a half inch like steel has, uh, Echo usually comes with a 17. This has the Speed Feed 450 on it is not only going to hold a lot more line but you can put the 105 in there as well uh, but it also has a 20 inch swath uh, so you're looking at it's got the four layer flex cable in there for less vibration and it's got their biggest engine the 30.5 cc engine in this so uh, we're going to start this up and let you hear it Code start. It's a uh, 13.9 pounds, which really you don't really don't feel that heavy, honestly. But 13.9 uh, pounds with the guard on, take the guard off, you're down to about 12.3 pounds. So we're going to uh, take it back here, actually, into this part in this fenced-in area, and put it to the real test. So. Let's get going.
now I think we're out of line. So uh, just wanted to show y'all in some action here of what this thing was doing and what this thing was taking care of. Chad, you've been using the 2620 around half of this thing, the T model. Um, can All you right. tell a difference between it and the 3020? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, you know, night and day with the power, power can, you know, ratio on it. Definitely, if we put that saw brush, or I saw brush hog on here, it would slide through all this. Yeah, and I mean, that's, that's real thick stuff. And for a, a trimmer to be going through that is uh, crazy. I mean, like I said, this is this stuff is pretty much about as tall as he is out there. If it wasn't laying down, it would be as tall as he is. But I mean, yeah, this is, this is what it's chopping through. Um, I mean, that's just, that's crazy. That's, you know show y'all comparison of my finger here and uh i mean that's that's some tough stuff but it's slicing and dicing right through it so uh we got a little bit of it here done most of it done anyway at least over halfway still got to clean up a little bit here and over there and then the rest of this but uh way better than it was so just wanted to show y'all the 3020t and what it was capable of and show you some live action footage of some real thick deep stuff with it just being a trimmer yeah this ain't even the brush hog edition one yeah yeah it's not even the not even the, the brush cutter part now you can buy the uh the brush cutter attachment for this and the blade um that fits on the 2620 and all that you can buy that same one and uh, my kids are all excited so uh, you can buy the same brush cutter attachment for that, throw you a, a brush cutter blade on there, and it'd probably slice and dice through this like it was nothing. Yeah. But uh, you know, we just wanted to show you the trimmer and show you what the trimmer was capable of. All right guys, so what do you think about the 3020T trimmer? Leave your comment down below, let us know what you think about it. Is this something you would be happy with? Something you may upgrade to from your Echo 220? Uh, 2620 or your 225, 230s, 280s. Uh, this thing has a lot of power. You can definitely tell a difference between it and the 2620T. And by any means, the 2620T is no slouch. So it's definitely a great thing. And uh, here's the brush cutter attachment you can get for this thing. So you get the uh, you get a universal de debris shield kit here, and it comes with your shield and a strap go around you and everything and then you get this cool you can buy different blades but then you get this cool blade right here yeah it's, i think this is an 80 tooth arborist 20 millimeter um it's their top of the line one and it looks like it'll cut through some stuff oh yeah i mean that's sharp that's just like a circular saw blade okay, yeah all right guys so leave your comments down below let us know what you think and uh we'll see you in the next one